Okay, on this page we're just going to do one more tangent uh, example, and this one's going to include a few extra steps. I've also included a summary here on the top that's very similar to our summary for sine and cosine. Our vertical translations, our amplitudes, our periods, and our phase shifts. The phase shift is our new step, and that's how much we move the graph left and right. So jumping into one of our examples, we can find our various values. So this graph does not have a reflection because the sign directly in front of our tangent is positive, so we can say reflection and we can say none. It does have a vertical translation. I'm going to grab that negative 4, and I'm going to say that it was down 4. Of course, I could use an arrow. My starting point, always thinking about the parent function, I take this entire expression of 3x, and I'm going to set that equal to my negative pi over 2. I can solve that equation and I'm going to get x equals a negative pi over 6. It's multiplying both sides by that 3. That 3 dividing both sides by 3 or multiplying by 1 third. So my starting point is going to be a negative pi over 6. The next thing that I'm going to do is find my period. So my period is going to be two, just a pi over that coefficient of 3, or pi over 3. The distance between the key values, remember on tangent, we're just going to divide that into two pieces. So I'm going to take my pi over 3, and instead of writing divided by 2, I'm going to think multiply by a half, or pi over 6. Now, calculating my key values, I need to combine some things together. So I'm going to get my start value of a negative pi over 6. I'm going to add to that my pi over 6, which means my next key value is actually a 0. That's OK. Keep adding. I'm going to get a pi over 6. Add again 2 pi over 6 that we will ultimately reduce. Add again 3 pi over 6. So I just needed to get those four key values. So now when it comes to putting this on my graph, what I like to do is just create a sketch because I'm just trying to visualize what's happening. So again, I take my two endpoints. I divide, I divide, and I divide because I'm going to create two periods for my tangent. I'm going to draw in my vertical asymptotes. There are many, many ways to graph these functions. I'm just choosing this method to create almost like a blend of a graph and a sketch. I'm going to put all my values on here. So I'm going to go ahead and put my negative pi over 6, my 0, my positive pi over 6. I'm going to reduce this one to a pi over 3. And I'm going to reduce this one to a pi over 2. Remember, always take a moment to make sure that the uh, difference between your periods is in fact giving you your period of pi over 3. Okay, That's important. Now, the next thing that I like to do is my amplitude on this is just a 1, so I can go ahead and I can indicate just I'm going to go 1 above and 1 below. There's no reflection, so halfway and down and halfway and up. I'll label these values in just a moment. Remember, I like to draw that little piece first and then continue on up, continue on down, halfway and down, halfway and up, continue on down, continue on up. Now, this graph has something that we didn't see on the others. You'll notice that I didn't label these values, and I didn't do that for a reason. Because this graph had a vertical translation, this value right here is actually a negative 4. I've moved my x-axis down 
4. Then I've moved down, my amplitude is just 1, so this is an, I'm actually a negative 5. And then I'm going to move up just one more, and I get a negative 3. Now, if I wanted, I could actually take this one step further, and I could take this all the way up, and I could draw in my x-axis. I'm just choosing not to do that. I am okay with just these values right here indicating the appropriate shifts. The last thing is writing my domain. And I want to indicate that this is a cyclical domain. It's not continuous, but it is cyclical. So I'm going to use the values at the asymptotes, and I'm going to say a negative pi over 6 to a positive pi over 6. That indicates one period. That's going to join with the next period that I see. And I'm going to have a pi over 6 to a pi over 2. And then I want to continue this and put the ellipses in there to continue, indicate that this cycle is continuing over and over and over again. And that's all that I need to do for graphing my tangent.